This is the size of a typical load for this dishwasher. Just one quick tip, the plastic material should go near the middle, especially if they're small. Also, you don't put the soap in before it starts. Once you've loaded the dishwasher, it's time to start it. You should first push the tray in and then close and lock the door. When you hear a click, that means it's locked. Once the door is locked, you should press F4 and then start. There are other settings that you can use, but if you're just using a basic wash, this should work for you. The manual has instructions on other settings. The dishwasher will begin to wash, and after a few minutes, the buzzer will sound, and that indicates that it's time to pour the soap. You should be careful to pour the so right amount of soap in. At least for this dishwasher, if you pour too much soap into it, soapy water will start to leak from the sides of the door. We all know that would be bad. So pour just about a capful in, then close and lock the door, and press start again. The dishwasher will pause if the temperature of the water goes below 100 degrees Fahrenheit, indicated by the screen on the left of the dishwasher. 180 degrees Fahrenheit is the ideal temperature for the dishwasher to run at. Now you wait for about 20 minutes for the dishwasher to finish running, indicated by the buzzer. When the buzzer sounds, open the door and make sure you put on gloves to pull out the tray. Do not use your bare hands to pull it out. It's really hot. Please, trust me on that one. Wait a while for the dishes to dry off and cool down a bit, and then you can unload. In the case that you use the same dishwasher for multiple labs, you should have a system to indicate what goes where. For example, we use a sign that can be flipped to either prep or non-prep labs.